Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. So Apple finally releases iOS 18.0.1. It's been almost 20 hours that update is out and I'm using this update. And in this video, I'm going to talk about three different things. I will talk about the battery life, the performance and your comments. So that 18.0.1 is out and this update is out to fix a lot of different bugs. Um, uh, if you see over here, the release notes, touchscreen made temporarily unresponsive. That was happening not only in iPhone 16, but many different iPhone models that is also been fixed with this update. Performance may be impacted due to an issue with memory allocation on some iPhone. So when it comes to memory allocations, issues in memory allocations cause performance issues and performance issues can cause battery life issues. This was one of the main problem why people were facing battery draining, poor performance and heating issues. While memory allocation issue is also um, fixed over here, which means it will give you a better performance, better battery life and may solve your heating issues. Just like this one, there are so many other things that have been fixed. I talk about a, in a detailed video. Um, that video is available on my channel. Go and check out that video. But in this video, I'm going to talk about three things as I already said. Um, it is very important to understand whenever a new iOS update comes out, it will take a couple of at least couple of days to get stable. You cannot expect the device to get better right away after the updating. So if you are still facing any issues, just give it two days, it will get better. But now let's talk about the battery life because I'm using it since the iOS 18.0.1 is out. So over here, this is the day when I used my device running 18.0.1. As you can see, I used almost 75 to 80% of my device and the screen on time during this time is 4 hours and 37 minutes. Over here, I used these applications. So I was quite active on YouTube, then on X, TikTok, YouTube Music, test out the cake bench and settings, and used a bit of some other applications like Instagram, Shortcuts, Spotify, Photos, Snapchat, Threads, Weather, Panels, 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 and more. So if I see this battery life, it is very much improved. It is quite better. It is way better than 18.0. Also, if I compare it with the 18.0, on this day I was using 18.0. And as you can see, it is pretty much the same. The usage is pretty much the same. 75 to 80%, 75 to 80%. And on the 18.0, I was getting 3 hours 52 minutes. But on the 18.0.1, I'm getting 4 hours 37 minutes. There is more than 45 minutes different which means that battery is definitely improved a lot which is a really really good news now let's move to the performance let's go to the geekman score over here so over here 18.0.1 as you can see 1322 on a single core while 2855 on a multi-core if i go to the average iphone 10 as a single core score over here it is 1281 18.0.1 is giving me a better score while on the multi-core it was 2618 and 18.0.1 is giving me a better score. So scores are no better. If I show you the score of 18.0 as you can see it was 1317 on a single core while on a multi-core it was 2588 which is the lower than the average one. So if I compare the 18.0 versus 18.0.1 the scores are better on the 18.0.1. All those scores were way better on the 17.7. As you can see, it was 13.52 and 29.17. Um, way better than the average one, way better than the average one. But still, 18.0.1 uh, is not giving that score. But still, 18.0.1 is better than the 18.0. So if I talk about the performance and the battery life, I think you should update as scores are really good and these scores are quite decent if i talk about your comments for a while over here um some of your people were saying that you're still getting issues let me see your comments over here uh here's the comment i think battery palace is rather drain or a here if i translate to english i don't know will it draw. i think the battery is getting more than before um, some people are having issues on specifically iPhone 14 plus they are having battery draining issues but for me it is fine 
maybe it take couple of days to get stable let's see hope for the best also what's your duolingo streak i am not into duolingo yet but i will keep it up bro i would love to have your number i don't know what why you want my number if you have if you want to talk to me you can just dm me on x that will be a better back cover name that is apple silicon cover not the original one but yeah is the phone cleanup going to be available for other iphone no it is not going to be available for any other iphone but you can use the cleanup feature in the google photos for free it is pretty much same maybe better but it's same so yeah you can just install google photos and you can get that feature so yeah these were some of the comments if i have to say how come 17 software updates is more likely bug fixes and improvements why not how come 18 is updated about software bugs and and i found it pretty strange but i just wait because this might be soon okay maybe i was it was a decent update and it was a really good update being very honest i did videos about that in the start of when i started this channel and talking about the ios 18 why people are facing a lot of issues this time because i believe i was 18 is easily one of the biggest update and we haven't seen this much huge update in so many years from apple and i think it's quite hard to manage a lot of stuff altogether that could be a reason that why there are so many issues going on but however they are trying to fix the issues which is really good news also again i'm waiting for the ios 18.1 developer beta 6 slash public beta 3 if i go to settings see if the version is out I'm checking for update no and no update yet go back no update yet over here go back and no update over here if i go and refresh 9 to 5 mac to see if there is any update no there is no update so yes along with the 18.0.1 it is good that 18.0.1 is out i'm really happy but i also want to see 18.1 this time update time issue time bug is really annoying as you can see it is shrinked if i compare both one you can see this there's a huge size difference as you can see if i go over here and customize it it goes back i go come back over on the lock screen and shrinks again if you just notice when i tap and hold it lags for a while you just saw that you saw that so there are just like this many other bugs going on in the 18.1 i really want apple to fix these bugs with a new update i'm waiting for the update and again coming back to the 18.0.1 if you are on 18.0 and you are facing a lot of issues it is time to update go to the 18.0.1 and pretty much many bugs have been fixed well that's it from this video i hope you like this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up do like and share this video subscribe to my channel and I will see you until then. Take care. Peace out.